What's up guys, so today we're going to talk about three things. First, we're going to talk about time under tension and why it might not be a very good metric to focus on. Second, we're going to talk about a technique called ramping, which can help you lift maximum weight. And finally, we're going to look at a study which actually shows that moving weight quickly is going to produce much better strength gains. So if you're interested in getting stronger, you're definitely going to want to listen to this video. And we'll actually go in reverse order. So first, let's look at the study. I actually saw this first on Greg Knuckles awesome website. Definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description below. But this study, it divided people into two groups. So the first, they moved the bar as quickly as possible. So every set, they were moving the bar as quickly as they could as explosively as they could. The other group intentionally was forced to move the bar at half speed and they measured everything this was an incredibly well controlled study and they measured everything they could from bar speed to time under tension to even the environment the humidity of the gym where they worked out everything was very very strictly controlled so what were the results well as expected the max velocity moved the bar a lot more quickly and the half velocity had a much greater time under tension However, in terms of strength gains by the end of the study, the one rep max of the max velocity group went up 18.2%. The half velocity group went up just 9.7%, so roughly half as much. In terms of how quickly they could move weights at greater than 0.8 meters per second or less than 0.8 meters per second, this is where the max velocity group just blew the half velocity group away. So that was over double and triple as fast. So roughly double and triple. And this shows that time under tension is not really going to be that important for strength gains. So if you just want to get stronger, focusing on time under tension and moving the bar as slowly as possible is going to be basically the worst way to train. And this brings me to ramping. So if I'm warming up before my working sets, I'm always trying to move the bar as explosively as possible. So I'm not trying to like get more time under tension, bro. I'm not trying to move it as slowly as I can. That is a stupid way to train if you're interested in strength. Even if you're interested in size, what you want to be doing is recruiting as many motor units as possible. And you can recruit, recruit motor units a few different ways. First, you can move heavy weights. If you're moving, you know, 85% plus weights of your one rep max, then you're going to be recruiting basically all of your muscle fibers because they are all required to move that heavy weight. Or you could move slightly lighter weights explosively because more force is required, more force will be generated. So just moving weights slowly is not going to recruit as many muscle fibers. And if you don't recruit a muscle fiber, it's not going to get stimulated. And if it's not stimulated, it's not going to grow. So if you want maximum growth, you should also be training explosively. Now, don't get me wrong. Volume is important and time under tension is also important, but it should be in the context of training like an athlete, training explosively, using good technique, and not intentionally slowing the bar down. If you are bench pressing as slowly as you can to try to get more time under tension, that is not going to be effective. There are some reasons to train slowly, maybe if you get injured when you try to bench quickly or something like that, but for most people, you should not be intentionally shooting yourself in the foot and recruiting fewer motor units. That is not gonna be effective for strength, for size, or anything else. I actually don't know where this time under tension myth came from. Maybe it was just a way to emphasize volume training, which is important at some times. I think probably it came from steroids. If you're on steroids, you might respond better to the pump. You might respond better to this quote unquote time under tension. But if you are natural, that's probably not going to be the case. So trying to focus on moving the bar slowly is generally not gonna be a good idea for the vast majority of people. Train like an athlete. There is a reason why Olympic weightlifters, they look amazing in a lot of cases. 
and they and yet often they have very very little time under tension so you know they they might have a couple of seconds of time under tension during a maximum lift i mean if you're doing a snatch from the ground to the top of the lift it's not going to take 45 seconds it's going to take like three or four seconds so how can you take advantage of this information well you can use ramping. So ramping is a technique where you're warming up and you're moving the warm-ups explosively. Normally, if you're moving 30, 40, 50, 60% of your one rep max, you're not gonna be recruiting a lot of motor units. But if you start moving those weights explosively, aggressively, violently, you are suddenly recruiting all of your motor units. And this can be just another way to get in more volume. So don't just think time under tension, think quality time under tension. If you're moving half of your one rep max and you're moving it lazily, slowly, you're not gonna get much out of it. But if you're moving it aggressively, explosively, violently, and you're really attacking the bar, you're gonna recruit many, many more motor units. And you're, get, you're gonna get some juicy gains from this technique. This is why I do ramping when I'm warming up. So if I'm doing barbell exercises, especially squat, deadlift, bench press, any kind of Olympic weightlifting, anything explosive. During the warm-ups, I am not moving slowly. Once I feel good, once I feel ready, I am moving that bar as quickly as possible. This isn't really gonna be suitable for dumbbell exercises, generally speaking, for machines, for isolation movements. It is just those big, heavy compound movements. Finally, it's also worth noting that time under tension is important. It's just often misused. And if you find yourself intentionally limiting your performance by slowing down the bar to try to get more time under tension, that is generally not going to be effective. You should always train like an athlete. And that doesn't mean 18 different variations of curls. It means actually training explosively and training for athleticism. If you want to know more, check out my book. It has a whole chapter on advanced techniques, and one of which is ramping, and so you can definitely get some juicy tidbits from there. That is all for today. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on notifications. That helps too, I guess. And I will see you all in that next video. Peace.